Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today I am going to prepare you for long division on the stamped game. But before I can show you that, I need to take a step back and show you a little bit more of where we start with long division. Now, this lesson is given about at the age of five and a half to six years old. And before we go into long division with the stamp game, we actually have to go back to the golden beads. And I have to show you that first we introduce long division with the golden beads before switching to the stamp game. So again, this will be something we go back to. And right now I just have a diagram from my album. Um, when I go through the collective exercises, I'll do this more in detail. Right now I'm waiting for my golden bead material to arrive. I don't have all of it. And that's why I've held off on showing you this, but also this is, gets a little bit complicated to film. So that's the other problem with, with filming this. So I'm going to try and talk you through just a little bit of what this experience looks like before we jump back into the stamp game. So with the golden bead material, uh, we would go ahead and show long division and we would show it by gathering our, our, um, our dividend, which is the big number, right? The 2,832. We're going to get all of that in beads. We're going to get two units, three tens, 800, 2000. And what is division? Division is sharing equally. What are the rules? We start with the largest. We share equally. And the answer is what one person has. Now we've done division, both static and dynamic with short division. And we've done that in the stamp game. And the child has experienced it also with the golden bead system around the ages of four to five years old. So now that they've had that experience in division, they can go on to long division. And so we come back to the golden bead system, we gather golden beads, we get this number, and uh, it's the large number 2,832, 2,832, let me say it correctly, right? So we get that number, we build it in the cards, and we have it in the golden beads. We have our unit beads, our 10 bars, our 100 squares, and uh, of course, we'll have our thousand cubes and would have 2000. And so this is just a picture of the final step. So if you're looking a little confused, it's because this is what it looks like when it's all finished. So let me backtrack back to the beginning of how we would present this. So if I'm going to do the equation 2832, oh, I'm having a hard time saying correctly today. Let me try this again. So if I have the number 2832, and I want to divide it by 12 and I want to give that lesson to some of my students. I'm going to invite three students. I'm going to invite three students and one of those students, I'm going to say, you know what? I need you to go find nine friends. And they go around the room, they invite nine friends. Now, sometimes this is inconvenient. So sometimes I just ask them to think of their friends and I write it down on a piece of paper. Um, because sometimes that can be distracting in the classroom. You, in some classrooms, don't have a lot of children in it. If you're just starting a classroom, you might not have nine children. Or if you're homeschooling, you might not have nine children in the classroom to use. So sometimes I just list their names down on a piece of paper as they tell it to me. So nine friends plus the one child is 10, right? Then I have my two other students. So I have three students total. And I say, okay, we're going to divide this time. We're going to do division. But this time it's going to be different because I'm going to have one of you collecting for you and nine friends. That's 10 people. You're going to collect for 10 people. And then the other two are just going to collect for one person. And so we have to have this new rule of when we share equally, the person that's collecting for 10 people gets 10 more than the other people. So we call this division with bows because when I invite the children over and I tell them how many people they're gonna be collecting for, they get different bows. So the children who are collecting for just one person gets a green bow and the child that's collecting for 10 people gets a blue bow. Now, where have we seen this before? In the stamp game, you know that the units are green and you know that the tens are blue. So the child with a blue bow is collecting for 10. And so our new rule now is what the child with the blue bow receives, they're going to get, they're going to collect for 10 people. And so they're going to get 10 times more. And this is going to be the experience of how they experience this for the first time before we move on to the stamp game. So we usually show this once, maybe twice, and then we jump back into the stamp game or long division with the stamp game. So I just kind of wanted to show you this really quick. So when we divide it up, 
um, the answer we have to remind the child is still what one person gets, but it's one person with a green bow or one person with the unit, right? The unit representation, that's the answer. So then we can go, when the child has the blue bow, their answer is gonna look different. And so then when their answer looks different, we sh we break it down into the smaller categories in all the units, we get 10 units out at the very end. And we show the child with the blue bow that really you have the exact same answer as everyone else if you break it down into units. But because we put it together in the tens, it lo looks a little bit different. So we do show that very concrete example of how the child with the blue bow really has the exact same answer. It's just that we are putting it all together. So we do break it down once, but then when we get to the stamp game, we don't break it down again. We just keep it there and we, re we remind the child that the answer is what one person has or one Skittle. And when, the sk when it's with Skittles, we say one green Skittle. So that's how we introduce it. I'm going to stop with showing you this and actually now switch over to doing the stamp game with long division. So here we go. All right, so here we are. I'm ready to do some long division and I have it set up here. Our operation is gonna be 1,625 divided by 13. And again, we can always do this reminder at the beginning that our divisor here is 13. So how many units does it take? One, two, three units. How many tens? One ten. And because the child has already had the experience with the golden beads of doing long division, you can remind them, just remember that the, the blue Skittle is going to get 10 times more than the green. So let's repeat the rules for division. We start with our largest number. We share equally. And the answer is what one person or one unit Skittle gets. And of course, we have to add the rule that the blue Skittle gets 10 times more than the green Skittle. So what does that look like? One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. So this one's getting 10 times more. Okay, so we're out of our thousands. Let's move on. One for you, one for you, one for you. Oh dear. We can't share equally. What are we going to do? Hmm. We're going to have to exchange, aren't we? Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we've got ten here. Put that one back. Straighten these out so they're in the correct order. All right, I got it. And one for you. Is that better? Let's try it again. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Now, these have 10 times more than the green, right? So we're still doing all right. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. That gets 10 times more than that one. One for you, one for you, one for you. Uh-oh. We need to take one of these. We need to exchange it, don't we? All right, let's put it right there for a second. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, put those in order. Make sure we have ten before we start sharing. Because this is where all the little mistakes happen, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we can put this one back and one for you, 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 
One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Beautiful, huh? And if you want to be really OCD and go ahead and straighten it up, feel free. But that would take too much time for me, so I'm going to leave them just a little bit messy, if you don't mind. So our answer is what one person or what one unit Skittle has. So let's see what one has. So we've got how many hundreds? One. How many tens? Two tens. What do we call two tens? What's the language for that? Twenty. Let's count our units. One, two, three, four, five. And there is a very simple long division equation. But I'm going to go on and show you a couple others. So hold on just a second while I reset it. And we'll go to next to long division with zero in the divisor. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here we are with long division with zero in the divisor. So right here, we're gonna be doing 9,135 divided by 203. And this is where we get to use these disks. Now, because the disk is in the tens position, I'm going to use a blue. So there are different colors. So if it's in the units position, you use a green. If it's in the hundreds position, you use a red disk. So when we're bringing this out, we're gonna make sure to tell the child that that means there's nothing there. It's a zero, we can't do anything with it. And if you've been following along with Montessori curriculum, we establish this language with the spindle boxes. And we say, what do we do with zero? Nothing, we can't do anything with zero. In fact, we play a little game called the zero game uh, to emphasize that zero means we can't do anything with it. So we're just gonna be telling the child there's nobody home, we can't do anything with it. So we're not gonna share anything there, right? But we're still gonna follow our rules for 10 times more than the others. So let me show you what that looks like. So we're gonna start sharing equally as we always do with our largest number. One for you, one for you, one for, oh dear, nobody's home, we can't do that. So let's go to here, one for you, one for you, and one for you, right? That seems pretty simple. One for you, one for you, one for, oh dear. Nope, can't do anything there. Oh, can't do anything there. Hmm, we're gonna have to do some exchanging, aren't we? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ready? Let's make it look a little bit beautiful. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be perfect if you would like it to be perfect, and I'm all right with that. And while it can be a little messy, we want to make sure and organize our work, because an organized work means that we are probably going to catch any little details when there's a mistake. So organizing your work is always a good thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten. All right, we can put that away. So now we can share equally one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Oh, nobody's home. One for you, one for you, one for you. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. I'm gonna push these up so we have more space. And let's go back. One for, oh, we can't share evenly anymore. So let's start exchanging these. So we gotta exchange this one. Let's count out 10 hundred, 10 of the hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're ready to keep sh keep sharing. Let's go. One for you. One for you. Oh, nobody's home. One for you. One for you. One for your, one for you. There we go. One for you. One for you. One. 
Oh dear. Nobody's home. And then one for you, one for you. We have to exchange. Let's put that right there. Let's get out 10 units. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Can we fit our tenth? Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten here. So that means I can put that one back. And one for you. Let's keep sharing. One for you. 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 I hope you're saying one for you at home. One for you. 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 One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. This stays empty, right? There's nobody home. So let's count our answer. What's our answer? It's what one, one person or one unit Skittle, Skittle gets. So let's write our answer. Let's see how many tens. One, two, three, four tens. What's the language for four tens? 40. So Got our four tens, how many units? One, two, three, four, five. The answer, the quotient is 45. So that's how you do long division with zero in the divisor. Next, I'm gonna reset and do zero in both the dividend and the divisor. So you can see that real quick. So let me reset for that. All right, so here we are with long division with zero in the divisor and zero in the dividends, uh, in the dividend, but both in the unit position. So those both will have zero. We're not gonna do anything with those. So let me show you what that looks like because that kind of changes things. And I know some of you are looking at this thinking, well, I already know what to do. Um, but the child doesn't, right? So we are going to give them the full experience of doing this, and then we're going to show them the easy way. So if you've already figured out the easy way, we're going to work towards that, but we're not going to start there. So let's start by sharing equally. One for you, 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 one for you. Mm, nobody's home. All right, let's keep going. Right, one for you. Well, not enough. So let's break it down. Let's put it right, right there. And I'm going to put it over to this side. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me count them. Make sure it's 10. Make sure it's correct. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so this last one can go back into the box. So now we can start sharing equally here, right? One for you, one for you, one for you. One for you. Ten times less. Nothing. We're going to keep going. One for you. 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 And we're done, right? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. We can't be done because the answer has to be what one person has. So, this is what 10 people have. Hmm. How are we going to figure that out? Let's try this. 200, 1, 200, 30 divided by, hmm, what would it be divided by? 10. Let me reset that. Okay, so here we are set up to break it down. I've got 
10 units to show you how to break down 230 divided by 10. And if you're noticing this guy looks a little different, it's because my stamp game only comes with nine Skittles. So I had to go to my second stamp game and get 10 Skittles. Uh, because not all stamp games think that we're showing the full entire lesson, but we do. Uh, and so we do need 10 and not just nine. So you might have to rig something to find uh, an extra Skittle, maybe buy two stamp games. It's always good to have two. They never seem to give you enough in a stamp game, but let's start sharing equally. Uh oh, I can't share equally, can I? Huh, so I'm gonna have to exchange this. All right, it just so happens I pre-prepared this because we're gonna be doing a lot of exchanging. So I already have um, some tens set out down here. I'm gonna move them up and exchange. We'll do a quick exchange, right? So I'm gonna put my tens right here that I just exchanged. And we're gonna have a lot. And now, can we share? Oh, we still can't share equally, so we're gonna have to exchange this one again. Just so happens I pre-prepared that too. So, I, down at the bottom here, I have 10 tens. So, we're already set for exchanging. Now, I think I finally have enough. I have enough, finally, right? I'm gonna move the disc for zero because we might do some exchanging here that might create it. So here we go. One for you, one for you. One for you, one for you. And this is where if you don't organize your work, you might make a mistake. Because sometimes it gets hard to see where they go. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. This is very important. I hope you're saying one for you. Sometimes I forget though. So if you forget, I'm not going to be too hard on you. One for you. Let's keep going. One for you, one for you. One for you, one for you, one for you. These are all green, so they have to be equal, right? One for you, one for you, one for you. All right, let's share equally. Oh no, we can't do it. We're gonna have to exchange this one. Just so happens, I also pre-prepared 10 units. So I have a whole batch waiting on the sidelines, ready to come in, right? Let me bring them over. Here we go. Got a 10. All right, let's share equally. Oh, we can't share equally with that one either. We're gonna have to change that one into tens too. Uh, I just so happen to make a group of tens. So we're ready to go. And of course we have to do this one more time because we can't share that one equally either. Here comes another group of tens. Oh, this is a lot, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at all these units. They're not organized, it's too messy and look at I didn't even pay attention pay attention to where I put this I put this back in the wrong place it happens it happens to adults and to students right all right so we got all these units we have to share them equally they're not very well organized but let's go for it one for you 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 one for you. Is this your moment of zen or is this really annoying you? One for you. One for you. One for you. One for you. I hope if you're a child, this makes you laugh. One for you. 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 And one for you. Let's keep going. I got more to go. I got more to share. One for you. We got to share equally. One for you. One for you. One for you. One for you, 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 one for you. We did it. We shared equally, didn't we? Okay, so now we're ready to write our answer. 230 divided by 10. 230 divided by 10. One, two. Two tens. What's the language for that? 20. One, two, three units. So our answer is 23. So for those of you who thought this was just a lot of work, there's an easier way to do this. You are right. This is where we'd go and we show the child that when we have this zero right here and a zero right here, we're just gonna cross that off because it doesn't change the answer, does it? 23 divided by one is, it's still 23. 
So that's how we show the child how to do this one. Now, I have one more division problem for you. Hopefully you can hang on for one more because we're going to do group division next. So let me pause and reset one last time. So our very last division problem, and then we are done with the stamp game, uh, is going to be group division. So we're going to show how division is the opposite of multiplication, which we also do show in the collective exercises with the golden beads, but we're going to show it again here with the stamp game through group division. And we're going to start out with the operation 17, 1776, 1776, very good year, divided by 222 equals so that's what we're set up for, 222. So we've got that right here. So let's start sharing equally. Can we share equally? Nope, I only have one 1,000, so I have got to exchange that. It just so happens I prepared some extra 100s in the anticipation of needing them. Just to make things a bit quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Let's put that back. We don't need that, right? We exchanged. By now, we're really good at exchanging. Now, I think I'm ready to share equally. Let's see here. Let's do one for you, 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 one for you. One for you, and one for you. Now, yeah, I'm gonna try and make these kind of perfect because that's important for group division. One for you, 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 one for you. Oh, look at that. We're gonna need to exchange one. I did not pre-prepare this one, so this time we're going to have to do it the hard way. Let's put that right there. So that remember, it goes back in the stamp game. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know you can't see when it gets to the bottom of this. Someday, maybe I'll have a better situation and you can see everything. But for today, this is what I have to work with. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten, so I don't need that. Let's put that back. One for you. Oh dear. Well, look at that. All sorts of exchanging today. Put that right there. Have these ten units. We're going to need them. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put this one back. Now we're ready to share equally again. Phew, that was close. All right, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you try and make them lovely, right? Group division is a very beautiful thing to see. All right. One for you. One for you. I'm going to bring these down just a little bit so we can see better. One for you. 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 Are you noticing anything about this? One for you, 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 one for you. Now remember, our answer is what one person or one unit Skittle has. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer is eight units. But this is group division, so there's something else we can show. We can show that these rows are divided into numbers that are equal all the way down, right? Let's see how many times we've made the same number this week. 
So if we make a number this way, what is it? 1, 200. 2 tens is 20. 2. 222. How many times did we make 222? We made it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We made the number 222 eight times. Now wait a second. I'm using the word times. What are we doing here? So we made the number 222 how many times? Eight. And if you do that, it equals this number, 1,776. So now we can see that multiplication is the opposite of division. Cool, huh? Anyways, that's all I have to share with you today. So we got through one, two, three, four, four division problems, five if you count that one. That one's kind of two and an extra multiplication problem. I think that's probably enough for today. If you like what I'm doing here, please give this a thumbs up, comment below, share with anyone who you think might be interested in this. And as always, if you really like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.